There's only a few days left to comment on BC's proposed hunting regulation changes. When a big game animal like caribou goes from a general open season to limited entry hunting, it becomes a Category A game animal. Hunting Category A animals is subject to the harvest allocation policy behind me here. Clause 7 says that First Nations take priority over resident and guided non-resident hunters. If there is any harvestable surplus game animals left over after First Nation rights have been accommodated, resident hunters take priority over guided non-resident hunters based on the splits shown in Table A in the policy. Tags are allocated to residents as limited entry hunting authorizations for the upcoming season. Non-resident tags are issued to outfitters in the form of a five-year quota, which is divided equally into an annual allowable harvest. Under another policy, outfitters are allowed to carry forward a portion of their annual allowable harvest and kill more than the annual allowable harvest for a given year. Some refer to this as front loading, but outfitters have to balance out their overall harvest by the end of the five year quota period. If front loading causes a few too many game animals to be harvested, the province may need to balance out the overall total harvest by reducing the number of resident limited entry hunting authorizations the following hunting season. I hope this helps you understand some of the proposed changes.